Welcome to Morning Prayer. I'm John Steyerwald. I'm the pastor of St. John's Lutheran Church, a congregation serving St. John's area, Lexington, South Carolina, Gilbert, South Carolina, and Lexington County since the early 1800s. And we welcome you today as we gather. We gather every Monday and Wednesday and uh, Friday for an opportunity to have prayer, to, to read scripture together, and uh, to, uh, to, to just gather around the gift of, of God's loving kindness that comes to us in scripture itself. Today we're reading from the Revised Common Lectionary. The reading for today includes an alternate reading from the ninth Psalm. And so we'll read the ninth Psalm together, verses 1 through 14. I'll read it a couple of times for you, and I invite you to just become quiet, silence your inner parts, and um, to listen for a word or a phrase that can rise up over maybe the anxiety or the busyness of the morning or the evening when you watch maybe a recording of this. And let that word or let that phrase, let it stick with you. Let it, let it walk with you through the day. Let it be your companion for the day. Um, no real announcements to share, except that we always invite you to worship with us on uh, at 9.30 every Sunday morning. We have drive-in worship. It's streamed by audio, but we also stream it on Facebook at the Facebook handle, Welcome to St. John's. Last uh, Sunday, we had a little trouble <clears throat> with our audio. Those who were driving in and, and here were had an excellent experience, but we're aware that the audio didn't translate well on Facebook. For the first time, I think we had a problem like that. We won't have that again. Our apologies. Join me as we read through Psalm 9. We'll have prayer. I'll pause a moment and allow you a chance to, to offer your own prayers. I will give thanks to the Lord with my whole heart. I will tell of all your wonderful deeds. I will be glad and exult in you. I will sing praise to your name, O Most High. When my enemies turn back the stumbled and perish before you. For you have maintained my just cause. You have sat on the throne giving righteous judgment. You have rebuked the nations. You have destroyed the wicked. You have blotted out their name forever and ever. The enemies have vanished in everlasting ruins. Their cities you have rooted out. The very memory of them has perished. But the Lord sits enthroned forever. He has established his throne for judgment. He judges the world with righteousness. He judges the peoples with equity. The Lord is a stronghold for the oppressed, a stronghold in times of trouble. And those who know your name put their trust in you, for you, O Lord, have not forsaken those who seek you. Sing praises to the Lord who dwells in Zion. Declare his deeds among the peoples, for he who avenges blood is mindful of them. He does not forget the cries of the afflicted. Be gracious to me, O Lord, see that I suffer from those who hate me. You are the one who lifts me up from the gates of death, so that I may recount all your praises, and in the gates of daughter Zion rejoice in your deliverance. Let's pause a moment. And again, I'll read the psalm, listen for a word or a phrase, and let it... Um, let it appear as a guide for your day. <clears throat> I will give thanks to the Lord with my whole heart. I will tell of all your wonderful deeds. I will be glad and exult in you. I will sing praise to your name, O Most High. When my enemies turn back, they stumbled and perished before you. For you have maintained my just cause. You have sat on the throne giving righteous judgment. You have rebuked the nations. You have destroyed the wicked. You have blotted out their name forever and ever. The enemies have vanished in everlasting ruins. Their cities you have rooted out. The very memory of them has perished. But the Lord sits enthroned forever, for he has established his throne for his judgment. He judges the world with righteousness. He judges the people with equity. The Lord is a stronghold for the oppressed, a stronghold in times of trouble. And those who know your name put their trust in you. For you, O Lord, have not forsaken those who seek you. 
Sing praises to the Lord who dwells in Zion. Declare his deeds among the peoples. For he who avenges blood is mindful of them. He does not forget the cry of the afflicted. Be gracious to me, O Lord. See that I suffer from those who hate me. You are the one who lifts me up from the gates of death. And so I may recount all your praises. And in the gates of the daughter Zion, rejoice in your deliverance. Well, I hope that this can be a a um, psalm of strength for you, and uh, as we gather for prayer, let me begin with a prayer written by one of my favorite um, prayer authors. This is from Peter Haas, Tab uh, Peter Traben Haas, and it's Centering Prayer, and I really enjoy this book. The prayer that's assigned for today has a wonderful title. It's a prayer for our extraordinary ordinariness. Well, I'm always glad that God is with me even in my ordinariness. So uh, let's have this prayer, and then we'll pray uh, as well together. Almighty and loving God, I thank you for the gift of life, for the sake of the human community. I request that we might become the fullness of what you intend for us to be, right where we are, in all our extraordinary ordinariness. Living God, we ask that you constantly remind us of your love for us, and we ask that you open our eyes and our hearts and our minds and our imaginations to the hints of your love in our life, the little moments that we might overlook that may be holy moments. Help us to be a companion for our neighbor. Help us to pray for the alien and those we don't know. Help us to have patience and forbearance in times where we feel struggling, where we feel that we don't have the answers, and where we feel frustrated. Guide us every day, especially those working in public. Be with those who struggle and give us full hearts to be thankful for the many things in our lives that are blessings. Strengthen those struggling from COVID-19 and who are ill. Be with families who pray for loved ones. Bless healthcare workers throughout this time and give especially those seeking cures the ability, the intellect, the imagination to find the vaccines that we need. And in the meanwhile, we pray for those who not only struggle, but those who die. We pray for families who mourn the grief of loved ones, strengthen those in this world who are lost, and help us find our way. And dear God, especially be with those that we name now in this time of prayer. In your son's name we pray. Amen. It's always good being with you. Again, I look forward to seeing you uh, Wednesday morning at 10 o'clock. On Wednesday evening at 9 o'clock, join us for Compline here at Welcome to St. John on Facebook. And uh, again, we invite you to join us for Drive-In Worship this Sunday. Go in peace and serve the poor. Thanks be to God.